Today we are going to discuss a coin changing problem using dynamic programming. So what is the problem? If you have n as an input, total money you need to pay is n. In how many ways you can pay for that given the denominations of coin c1, c2, c3 up to cn. Infinite supply of coin of each denomination is there and order of coins does not matter. Let's understand the problem first. Suppose you need to pay 5 rupees. So what is the case? n is equals to 5. And you have coins of denomination 1. Means you have rupee 1, 2 rupees and then 3 rupees. So this is your c1, coin 1 coin 2 and coin 3. Infinite supply of each type of coin is there means you have infinite 1, infinite 2 and infinite 3. And from these denominations you have to pay rupees 5. So one way could be I pay 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Other way 1, 1, 1 then 2 or 1 1 3 then 2 3 or 1 2 2 so there are five possible ways by which i can pay rupees 5 so this was the problem if you have seen the first video of this series, you will soon realize that this problem can be solved by deep. But why? Let's see. Again, consider the same example. You have n is equals to 5 and coins of denomination 1, 2 and 3. Now, if I pick 1, then this problem reduces to n is equals to 4, 5 minus 1. Or if I pick 2, this problem reduces to n is equals to 3. So in any way, if I can find the solution to these sub-problems, I can find the answer of this problem too. So can I now say that this problem has optimal substructure property? Optimal substructure. This is the first condition of DP. Now let's see the second one. Again, you have the same case and if I pick 1 and then again I pick 1. So now n is equals to 3. Or if I pick 2, then also n is equals to 3. So we are getting the same set problems again and again. So I can say that this problem has overlapping, overlapping, Sub problems. So in this way, this problem has both the properties of DP. Thus, we'll use DP here. We'll use bottom-up approach to solve this problem, and for this, we'll perform tabulation. Firstly, see what we are going to store in each cell. Here, each column corresponds to each sub problem. Like, if you want to solve for n equals to 5, you should have n equals to 4, n equals to 3, 2, 1, and finally 0. 0 is the smallest sub-problem that we can have. Then, let's talk about rows. First row says, if I have only 1 rupee coin, then can you make n equals to 0 or n equals to 1, n equals to 2, up to n equals to 5. Second row says, if I have 1 rupee as well as 2 rupees coin, can I make n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5? And lastly, the third row says, if I have 1, 2 and 3 rupees coin, can I make n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5? So let's start. In first step, fill for n equals to 0 in all rows. So in how many ways can you pay no money because n equals to 0 means you have to pay no money and uh, if you consider the first row then you have only one rupee coin and you want to pay no money. Then there is only one way to do this by paying absolutely no money. Thus one way to do this. 
if you have one and two rupee coin then also there's only one way even if you have one two and three then also only one way now consider the first row after filling first column start filling the first row think when you have n equals to 1 and c1 is equals to 1 n equals to 1 and you have only one coin of 1 rupee so there's only one way to do this i'll store one here if you have n equals to 2 and c1 is equals to 1 you have one rupee coin then also there's only one way by paying one rupee and then again one rupee here also one way one way and one way what is the way here when n equals to 5 1 1 1 1 and then 1 now come to the second row what we will do here now if in second row uh, think like in each cell either i pick rupees 2 coin or i don't pick it if i pick it like in n equals to 1 we i can't pick rupees 2 coin because 2 is greater than 1 so if n is equals to 2 and i have 1 and 2 rupees coin then if i pick it so n equals to 2 minus 2 problem reduces to n equals to 0 and i have this answer for n equals to 0 and i have already encircled it here okay this is the answer when you have 1 and 2 rupees coin and you have to make n equals to 0 okay next is when you don't pick rupees 2 so the answer you already have in the previous row when you have only one rupee coin and you have to make n equals to 2 thus this answer i have also encircled in just the above column in just the above row sorry after this i have n equals to sorry I have n equals to 3. How I will do for it? I have 1 and 2 rupees and I want to make n equals to 3. So either I pick rupees 2 or I don't pick it. If I pick rupees 2, then problem changes to n equals to 1. And what is the answer for n equals to 1 when I have 1 and 2 rupees coin? 1. That I can see from the table. And when I have n is when I don't pick rupees 2, so the problem is of 3 rupees now also and I'm not using 2. So the answer is already stored in the previous row. So I again I encircle both of them. The first one is this and the second is this. After adding these two, you will get 2. For 4, now you can think uh, if I choose 2. So 4 minus 2, 2 and n equals to 2 answer is stored here. And if I don't choose rupees 2, so the problem is you have n equals to 4 and only 1 rupee coin. So the answer is stored here. 1 plus 2, 3. You can find for n equals to 5 now. It is 2 plus 1, 3. Okay. Now here, I can't use 3 to make 1. Thus the answer is same as in the previous row i can't use 3 to make 2 so again the same answer as in the previous row then for rupees 3 i will use this value and 3 minus 3 that is 0 this value so 1 plus 2 3 then for n equals to 4 again consider this you have n equals to 4 n is equals to 4 so if i pick rupees 3 coin answer reduces to 4 minus 3 equals to 1 and i have my answer for n equals to 1 here i'll use this value and then if i don't pick 3 the answer is stored here 3 plus 1 4 and finally the answer that we want you can find it here 3 and 5 minus 3 is 2 here. So 2 plus 3, 5. 5 is the answer for this problem. If you are learning DP for the first time, then I am sure that you will say that how it will click in my mind. Then I can only say 
that it's an intuition which comes with practice. So try to solve as many questions as you can based on DP. Thank you so much for watching this video and subscribe our channel for more such videos and please comment below if you have any query or if you have any suggestions to make it better. Thank you so much.